Good morning, it's now Thursday and this is the third day looking at the fruit of the Spirit. I guess for some of us uh, over these two months of COVID, some of us have been very industrious in terms of gardening and so forth, maybe planting things for the first time, even uh, in maybe your windowsill or out in your back garden. Just maybe taking that opportunity to grow things and hopefully all your hard work will prove fruitful. So we're thinking again of three more of the fruit of the Spirit. We're thinking of faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. I guess when we look at all nine characteristics of the fruit of the Spirit, that there's some that are easier to understand. And we're wondering then, the ones that maybe are a bit more difficult to comprehend, well, what does Paul mean as he thinks about the evidence of the work of the Holy Spirit? And again, encourage you to take time to think through these nine characteristics not to pick and choose one or two but to think okay well what does that mean so what does faithfulness mean well obviously we have a God who's faithful and that's very much the testimony of scripture despite all that we do wrong in our lives he is faithful to us so how are we faithful in terms of our relationship with God in terms of our relationship within our families within the church family with those that we work with, with our neighbours, are we seen as faithful, unwavering? Especially when maybe all around us things are going curveball. Are we faithful? Maybe that's also in terms of what we believe in, what we aspire to in our lives and our goals. Maybe as an individual, as a Christian, as we think about how we're faithful to a cause. And as Christians, we want that others would know Jesus Christ. Are we faithful to that? Then we come to gentleness. So what does gentleness mean? It doesn't mean that we're a mat that everybody can walk over because we're so nice to everyone. No, I don't think that's what Paul is saying. I guess the word that I look at sometimes is the word humility when we have that servant heart. But I think it's also in terms of our disposition. Maybe that we don't be rash all the times when things go against us or when maybe somebody says something that, as I often do, I would want to fight back and think, OK, I need to get one up. But actually gentleness calls us maybe to step back, to think, to pray, how we will respond into that. That maybe it's not me, but actually it's God who's actually working that. So that sense of gentleness, that humility, that servant heart. And then finally, self-control. This is a huge challenge then and now for us today. Do we, in our freedom as disciples, as believers, have the license to do anything? Because, you know, God's going to forgive us. No. The Spirit must work in our lives. We must live by the Spirit. We must be led by the Spirit. We must keep in step with the Spirit so that everything we do honours God. And so that's a challenge for all of us to pray each day for that fruit of self-control. We live in a world of self. So it's a challenge for me and for you not to indulge in things that would actually bring us into disrepute in terms of our walk with Christ. So there's many things that we could think about. But I'm not going to mention them. But I want you to think, okay, what are the things that I need to lay before God so that there is that fruit of self-control? So I just pray that as you reflect on the fruit of the Spirit, I pray that all these nine characteristics would be very much evident in your life and in mine. Love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. Be blessed. Stay safe. Continue to enjoy the good weather. I pray that we will continue to show ways in which we love each other in the family of God, even though we're separate. We're grateful for the opportunity to have the church open for prayer. Continue to keep close to Jesus, the one who's risen and ascended and whose spirit dwells within us. And so I pray, breathe on me, Holy Spirit, 
Cleanse me and sanctify me so that I may offer all my praise, all my service, all my devotion, all my love through Jesus the Son. To God the Father. Amen.